Greetings, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back. This is Sir Drinks Lawn. And you've turned into a lap it up. Ah, uh, yes. How you doing? I hope everybody's doing okay. I do. Really do. Oh, no matter what's going on in your life right now, realize there's so many other that worries about you. I want you to. That's just a shadow. It looks like I had a floof. Uh, I'm worried about you. Obviously, because I'm worried about. <laughs> anyway. Hi. I'm doing good. Um, it's early. I decided to get out of, out of the house a little bit earlier so um, you get to work a little early and get squared away with some things. Um, but I figured I would do another drink for y'all. Ugly cherry. Nope, stop, stop. Stupid. Which, I mean, it's good song. I mean, can't lie. It's just, I hate autoplay. You know, it's like from the phone. Like, you stop the program. Anybody have that problem? You stop the program, you finish listening to your music, and you've rebooted your phone or whatever, and all of a sudden, you log into your car, and music. Pops on. Because and it automatically starts up again. And it's like, I do like the idea of that. You know, starting off where you left off. Because that's kind of important when you're listening to some music sometimes. Um, but. Uh, no! I mean, like, the thing is, I haven't listened to music in my car in a couple days. So I don't know what the hell's up with that. Except that I finally, I think I turned on and off Bluetooth for various reasons um, for like picking on the phone you know when I'm in the car ooh wait a minute nope oh, nope hold on Yo. yeah okay that meant bluetooth was hooked up and if bluetooth is hooked up then we have a recording issues we have audio issues so this is why I don't use Bluetooth in my, in my car um, if I'm doing if I'm doing camera or recording or anything because I have it, it goes from recording from my phone to my uh, the inside the, the, the vehicles recording and then there's a that I found that I found out that was the issue with the audio being slightly off um, or at least I believe that was the issue but anyway sorry. That was, that was a, that's, that's my, that's my ADD for you. Um, it's like, you know, uh, <laughs> um, all right, so ugly, calories, zero, sodium, zero, fat, zero, carbohydrates, zero, sugar, zero, it is cherries, no sweetener, no calories, no sugars, um, it's got, I remember the, the, the water is, uh, it's a decent carbonation, and the flavor has usually got a decent amount of flavor, just enough so that it's not, you know, it's not an echo from next door. It actually is a flavor, you know? Mmm, I love that smell of this cherry. It's a good, solid cherry smell, too. That's good. That's good. It's a. It's just the right amount of cherry. I think. I think the main problem is, is that because it doesn't have any sweetener, you're just getting that light, that, that that flavor of cherry, which you're not getting the sweet of the cherry. So you get a cherry flavor. It does kind of. It. It's dry. It's like. It's like a cherry cherry soda dry. You know. kind of like that. All the sparkling waters that have a flavor, or like that flavor drink dry, you know? Like when you say, oh, I like something on the rocks, it means you want it nice, you want it chilled. Plus it's going to also a little bit, you could say, a little bit watered down if you take for freaking ever to drink your drink. Um, but yeah, 
it's um, it has a really strong cherry. I was gonna say strawberry. A uh, really strong cherry flavor. Uh, that, that that overtone, but it's it's like it, it doesn't give up the fact that hey, I am sparkling water. There is no sugar. You are tasting cherries. However, I'm not going to give you 100% of the cherry, but you're going to get the flavor of a cherry. And I like that. I, I like the idea that, hey, it's not going to hide it. It's not going to be like, here's some sparkling water, and then way over here in the distance, here's some cherry. Now, that's not saying that other drinks that do that are bad. It's just that when you're not, when you're used, when you're used to that, when you're used to that concept of like a bubbly or, um, what are the other ones? There's, there's, there's a few others we tried. The, it's, I, I, instantly my brain just goes to bubbly. Um, it's like you barely can taste the flavor that it says it is. And you're like, are you really a cherry flavored soda? Are you sparkling water? No. But this is cherry. Like I said, the the carbonation is fine. It's a it's a good it's a good solid carbonation. Um, I like it. I mean, it, if I felt like adding like sugars or something to it, I probably would. But I just haven't really gotten around to it. And um, so far, this is they've all been really good. I mean, we've done the uh, peach, the grapefruit. This will be the cherry. And then we have lemon lime next is the last, the last one that I've got. Um, there are a few others I'm going to try to look into getting. <sighs> Mostly those are the fact that it's going to be difficult to financially get. Because you want to pay like a large amount for one drink. You know? I mean, I want to, like, I would love to get pina colada. But if I can only get a six pack of pina colada the price had better be right, you know? Uh, excuse me. Um, so, it's, it's, been, it's been good. Uh, the other ones were actually well, not so bad. Liquid Death is coming in with some stuff that I've, I've kind of considered just buying Liquid Death again just to have some in the house. Um, but with the, all the shipping and stuff, I don't have to worry about waiting for it because it's been pretty bad. Okay, it's not saying that I wouldn't get it in time. It's just... It's not something I don't want to mess with just yet, but I do like the liquid death, right? The straight the water and the uh, sparkling. But uh, yeah, um, this is okay. Get back to the ugly. The ugly truth is, these are pretty good. I think the cherry is probably so far my favorite. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a four and an eight. I really, really like the sparkling water. Um, if I could get it, I would probably buy it again and have some in the car because it's just in, in, in the house it is it is just a really good sparkling water um and uh i really really do love it it's a very nice sparkling water but um that being said um we're going with the four and eight what do you guys think you know have you guys given this a shot you know tell me what you think um it's one of those things where it's like, hey, you know, it, it might be harder to find. I mean, if you got uglies in your area, well, you probably do. But no. I mean, I know you do. No. Um, if you have ugly sparkling water in your area, give it a shot. If it's not in your area, it's only an Amazon or online order thing. If you want to, please check it out. I, I highly recommend the cherry. Um, gonna try the lemon lime. I, for some reason, I'm not sure if I have my hopes up for this because I, I get this feeling that it's gonna be like a margarita but with no fun. It's like if you just stripped all the information. Sparkling waters, whenever they've been lemon or lime, have always been a little bit like a like a, like a, a soul sucked margarita. <laughs> but anyway. I hope you're all doing well, and as always, oh, geez, I can't see behind me at all. I, no, I bent. Okay, no, I can't get in there. Oh, that's horrible. Hey, anyway, right. hope you're all doing well. As always, I am Sir Drink Slide, and I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love with enough time and gusto to enjoy it all down to the last drop. 
No aftertaste. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have any num num num, you know? And it is indeed juggable. Good stuff.